Welcome back to Adobe Live. I'm Jack, and we are back today with brand designer and creative director, Barbiana. How are you feeling today, Barbiana? Great. I'm feeling great today. Can't wait to um, pick up where we left off yesterday. Awesome. This is part two. You can find the replay here on Behance for part one if you missed it yesterday. If you're over on YouTube, come on over to Behance. Uh, you can ask us questions. We've been asking the chat questions or just say hi and hang out with us. Uh, looks like we've got a bunch of folks joining, uh, some from yesterday, some new. I see Steven again, Laura, Sam, Armad. Uh, welcome, everybody. Uh, before us today, actually, was uh, the Creative Encore with Sam uh, for the Photoshop Daily Creative Challenge every weekday at 9 a.m. Uh, be sure to join the challenges and connect with the community on Discord. Speaking of community, uh, Barbiana will be continuing work in Adobe XD today for the 1-800 Design Community. Barbiana, why don't you let us a little know, know a little bit about yourself for those that didn't join yesterday and let us know where we left off yesterday. Absolutely. Hi, everyone. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Um, my name is Barbiana. I'm currently based in New York City and the World Wide Web. Um, I've been freelancing for two years now. I'm a self-taught designer focusing on uh, branding and web design. And I'm also an XR creator um, who loves to play around with AR, and I recently got into content creator world, so um, I'm kind of proud to call myself a content creator. And um, little fun facts, I love coffees, I use emojis in my text a lot, I'm a big typography fan, and my humor comes from The Office. And finally, um, I work on Adobe XD most of the time, so here's where you can connect with me. And here are some of my work, and these are the aesthetic I'm known for as well. So we're going to create the web experience, a landing page for this community called 1-800-DESIGN. So this is the community I created like a few months ago when I noticed some designers are naturally like timid to show up because um, they're mostly behind the scene and some looking for a safe zone where they can get advice, resources without judges. And some are like myself who just love to learn new design skills. So I desperately want to connect and meet other creatives. That's why I want to create this community in the most intuitive way. And um, in this community, we have creatives around the world with the same passion, which is design. So um, I want to create create like the web page looks fun, vibrant, um, playing around with like these cute characters right here. We talked about the characters yesterday. It was fun. Uh, people yeah. love it, which um, <laughs> yeah, like we love it. It's like really cute. So I'm going to show the files that we actually have from yesterday. So these are the character we we're talking about and then we make it into like 3D looking. So <laughs> it's been fun. Yeah, and you created those in Illustrator, yes? Yes, so we're using this new um, Illustrator feature to create um, this fun character right here. Yay. Awesome. So um, today, we're going to create a uh, finish the community page for a desktop version and then create a mobile version for the website. And yesterday for the landing page, we have this um, header, sticky header, and then we have um, this text scrolling effect on a page. And then we create a few um, graphics for the section, the value section. And then we also have the scrolling um, Let's take a look, actually. The scrolling section for community highlight. Yeah, I love that section with the style matching the navigation that you've got. Mm -hmm. Yay. And we have this super fun hover effect 
Yay! <laughs> Steven is saying, yes, those characters are dope. I want a pillow with those. <laughs> Everybody was talking about my illustrator pillow over there. So <laughs> Wow. I want an XD one. <laughs> yeah, I agree. I need I need one of each. Mm-hmm. Yay. So we have the branding guide here to make sure that we create um like elements and have everything um that with our branding. And uh, this is the website roadmap that we uh, went over yesterday as well, and the page breakdown for the landing page. So um, let's finish the next section for our community page. Yeah, let's get into it. Yay. Annika saying so. one of each. Yes, yes. <laughs> that would be great. So next section, um, we talked about give a waffle. Uh, mm -hmm. which is like um, appreciate the community members helping up with um, advices or giving feedback. So I want to highlight that. And I'm going to use the same structure from my landing page. Nice. Yeah, reusing those elements to create, re, you know, consistent patterns across the site. Yes, exactly. Okay. And just to let everybody know while Barbiana gets into it, we're going to have an artist spotlight today and about an hour and a half into the stream. If you have never joined before and you don't know what the artist spotlight is, we're going to highlight an artist or designer from the community. Um, if you would like to uh, submit yourself or somebody whose work you admire, you can click on the tab right above uh, the chat. It says artist spotlight and you can submit somebody to uh, be selected to be spotlighted on the show. So, yay. Very exciting. Oh my gosh, the waffles. <laughs> I just yeah. noticed. <laughs> so this good. A, yeah, because we have this um, cloud thing for our um, image, imagery for the website. Yeah, bringing so it like this. Bring that is in. Great. Mm -hmm. um, so, um, I create this image actually from Photoshop. Mm -hmm. I, I brought the. Um, this cute waffle photos and I used the clone stamp to replicate the, the cloud actually from this photo. So, nice. Yay. So you use a lot of different tools in your process. You you use an Illustrator, you're using Photoshop, mm -hmm. you're using XD. Yeah. Lots going on. To create a, a better experience <laughs> or the website, I would love to have everything that stay on brand. Mm -hmm. For sure. So we have the copy right here. Nice. Got it ready to go. So as a um, brand new designer and a, a web designer here, uh, do you often work with clients to do kind of both to do like their branding and then do their website? And what's that kind of process like mm -hmm. balancing yeah. those two areas? So normally I do, um, branding first and then after we have the branding assets and make sure that the strategy works for the brand then we'll move on to web design nice so, mm -hmm. i feel like branding will always be like the first step for me because i want to make sure that we have a system to use in our website yeah so i'm sure. not feeling lost when i'm creating the, the whole like visual look for our website yeah, and it's nice because you can start to think as you're working through the brand, like how it's going to translate to, you know, the web. Mm -hmm. Let's take a look. Thalia is saying, super clever. Everything is coherent. Yay. Nice. Yeah, you've so, got like a very nice high contrast style with that blue against the sort of off-white colors. Mm -hmm. Good for accessibility. Great. So we have, let's see. Okay, it looks good. I think oh, it's I cute. love the photo. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> it's making me want waffles now. Yay. And um, I also want to add another section to kind of remind people to join us. So I'm going to have the same structure, but with a different shape. 
Let's do another shape for this photo right here. Mm. What shape should we do? Mm, you might you maybe pull one of the shapes from your um, characters again. I don't know, mm -hmm. maybe like the what triangle can... shape. Yeah, that I feel like we don't something. have a triangle here, so mm -hmm. we could create a triangle. Annika is saying, Jack, I did check that Stark app out. I'm going to try the beta version for if it's for, available for the M1. Nice. Yeah. Um, the Stark plugin, we talked about that a little bit yesterday. Um, there's a plugin for XD and a, a standalone beta app now um, that you can mm. sign up for. Um, but yeah, it's it's great for checking uh, not only color contrast, but you know font sizes and things like that. So be sure okay. to check it out. That would be a great tool. Yeah, for sure. Okay. The nacho, <laughs> the nacho shape. The nacho, yes. So we just have to kind of adjust the size of the image so it will fit. Cool, and I'm going to alternate the layout alternate. to add some interest. Mm -hmm. So the website's not boring. Okay, let's see. Give a Steven's waffle. checking out Stark as well. Very cool. What is your, I, I don't know if we talked about our favorite plugin yesterday. Do you have a favorite plugin, Mariana? Ooh, I love this one. Icons were designed, yeah. so I don't have to create an <laughs> icon. Um, and I also love um, the UI faces. Yeah, that's like a if fun I one need, too. Yeah, if I need the user face and I don't have to go over like websites to find those um, free to use mm -hmm. <laughs> photos. So this is great. Mm -hmm. These two are my favorite. Yeah. Nice. I see a lot of similar plugins to the ones that I have over there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'd we'll love to know like any other plugins that would be useful. Uh, one of my favorites uh, that I use so much is the whiteboard plugin. I don't know if you've used that one at all, Barbiana. No. It's uh, it's pretty neat. It gives you these different templates. So like you put together your flowchart up at the top. Mm -hmm. um, it actually gives you templates for like putting together flowcharts or different like uh, oh. like user journeys or like SWOT analysis or like little post-it notes um, that you can color code. And I just I find it really helpful to like leave. Well, that's really nice. Yeah, I would check it out for sure. It's okay. one of my faves. Ooh, definitely need to add that to my plugins collection. <laughs> yeah, I think you would really like it for that. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I think for this page is good. I'm gonna just. So, what I was imagining is that we can filter it with the buttons right here. And uh, when they click on the image or, uh, yeah, the image of the, the um, designers, and it will take them to their social page or the website. That's a good idea. Give them some, uh, you know, an audience for their work. Yeah. Send some traffic to them. <laughs> right. That's what I was looking for. <laughs> <laughs> so I think this page is good. What do you guys think? Let us know what you think of the community. If we're missing any uh, features we might want to add to this. Um, I asked this, I think, yesterday. But if there's any... Um, things that you look for in a, a design community, any kind of like, a lot of people were looking for like design resources. Are you looking to connect with other designers, uh, collect, connect with people who, you know, do work that's maybe different than what you do? Let us know. Mm -hmm. And since we have both pages um, layout and created, I want to link like for the, um, our menu. So who we are. I want to link it to this block right here. Design people will link it to the page. 
Joanna yeah. says yes with lots of S's. <laughs> I think Joanna was here yesterday and was maybe is maybe a part of your community. Um, I think so. Yeah. Joanne Melbourne. Sound familiar? Yes. Yes. So she's <laughs> gonna be um the packaging designer. Oh, that we're nice. gonna have like a design convo um tomorrow actually. Yeah. Oh, so and then we'll cool. talk about packaging, everything about packaging. Well, tell us all about it. Let us know the details. How can people participate? How can people come see what Joanna does? Yeah, so um you can join our community um right here if you um go to Instagram and type in one hundred dot design and then you can find us and there's all the details on there that you can where you can join us. We have the link on top of link in bio. Yeah, you nice. can click and then join our community. Mm -hmm. So yeah. yeah, she's a really great um packaging designer. So um I'm personally not um, really familiar with packaging, so I'm really excited to learn more about it. That'll be fun. Yeah, uh, I'm sure there's lots of people in the chat who are interested to learn more about packaging design. Um, it's not, you know, it's not something I do a ton of either, so mm -hmm. <laughs> might have to check that out tomorrow. <laughs> It's good to know, like, because um, she knows everything about, like, finding manufacturers um, um, and those, like, create a guide for um, the packaging so they can send it to those, like, um, factories. And for me, I'm like, hmm, I really don't know about that. That's, right. like, really interesting. Sounds like it'll be fun, a fun way to spend your Friday. Mm hmm and it's going to be like a casual chat, like um, over a live podcast. So um, you don't have to show your face. You can just turn it on by your side and you can still do your work. <laughs> nice. That's always good. Work and lurk. I know there's a bunch of people probably in the chat doing the same thing today. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. Cope Design. Studio says, love watching your process. Always inspired by your work. Thank you so much. And Vanessa so, is here saying, I'm loving the site. It feels so, so inviting, which is good for, you know, we want it to be inviting the space. Yes, we want it to be inviting. So we have, I see lots of prototyping happening. Yes. So I'm going to link um, those like our menus and uh, where they can find the sections. This is the feature I love on XD as well. Like, especially like if you click on um, the menu and then it will take you like scroll to that section. You just kind of have to move it around the margin. So it will fit like um, not just directly to the photo, but a little bit, give a little space on top. And I can show everyone how it looks like actually. So if you click on, um, let's wait, okay, who we are. It should scroll. Oh, it's kind of slow. Don't know why. <laughs> Might have to change, adjust the timing, but yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we just got to change the timing right here. Or join us too. Okay. So yeah, it's saying Barbiana is working really hard for 1-800-DESIGN. She's super passionate and still finds time to engage with the community. Some yes. Pra high praise there. Thank you so much. <laughs> oh, I'm going to cry. <laughs> That's this awesome. This is definitely a passion. Like, I really love to um, connect with others. So, spending some time to create this for everyone. <laughs> How did you get started kind of building your community online? Um, I was using a really great tool, which is Geneva. Um, it's like an um, easier and more inviting version of Discord, because Discord looks very like tack, like tacky, tack, <laughs> tack. And um, Geneva, it's more like a, um, like more for people who are, you know, not used to that. And it's for everyone, actually. So this is actually what it looks like if you. Nice. Like yeah. Up. It's like the home, like just the intro of it. Uh-huh. 
yeah, Discord is nice, but I can see that like it is very intimidating if you're not, you know, kind of used to that experience.、Mm-hmm. It、can take a little time to get used to. So, yeah, I do have some designer friends. They、um, are not really familiar with that platform, Discord.、Mm-hmm. So、um, I'm like, okay, we can find something else that everyone will be. Like、um, there's no really learning curve to use the platform, and you can just chat with us, and that's how I found Geneva. And it's also New York based, like the the startup. So I love it. I love、um, connecting with startups as well. Startups. That's awesome,、company. and it's great that you you know interviewed the community and asked like what you know what they would be looking for in、mm-hmm. a chat tool or something. Yeah. So Amelia, this is great. Is here too, and is、uh, Amelia and Clever both working and lurking, and hanging out with us? Welcome.、Yeah. Welcome. <laughs> Amelia was here yesterday too. So we have that, and then we can go back to. We also have Enzo,、mm. who it looks like is from the One Eight Hundred Design.、Uh, Group、yes, the Geneva group chat is awesome. Yes, he's super cool. Okay, Enzo is here. <laughs> oh yeah, there's his picture. Yeah. Um, let us know, everybody who's a part of the community or everybody in the chat, uh, what your area of expertise is, since I know we've got a lot of people from. You know different backgrounds in、uh, in this community. Yep. So I think our pages are good to go, and we can create a mobile version of it. Yay!、Ooh. So before、um, jumping into the、uh, creating the mobile version, I like to if I know that these are the you know the graphics we're going to use on the site, I like to export it to、mm-hmm. the file. Yeah, SVG or PNG files,、mm-hmm. and you so, typically would do that from、uh, here using these R ports. Yes,、mm-hmm. screens. Yeah, I'll do it、um, in XD, and then because when I'm creating a mobile version, I will have、mm-hmm. to scale it. So to prevent from scaling it like weirdly, because sometimes it would be since、um, these aren't vectors. Like if I scale it. This like this one didn't really change, but some that、mm-hmm. will, yeah. Especially the corner, rounded corner. So to make sure that it doesn't look weird, and it doesn't scale, yeah, like too off on the mobile version. So I like to export it first. Gotcha. And that also comes in handy when you go to build the、uh, site. You the have, have all those assets as SVGs.、Yes. Mm-hmm. And PNG. So we're gonna use、um, this one, this artboard right here. And you've got the iPhone. I missed that. Thirteen、um, and twelve.、Gotcha. Mm-hmm. Norsh is saying, "Will there be a section for mentors slash mentees for mentorship?" Oh, we could add that in the future for sure.、Um, I haven't thought about it. Like the mentor mentee,、mm-hmm. um, but yeah, that's something we can consider for sure. Yeah, yeah, especially as you start to build this、uh, community with you know、um, design leaders in their areas. Like you've got Joanne for packaging.、Mm-hmm. Um, you know, maybe she's interested in future、um, mentoring、um, mm-hmm. on that topic. Yeah, that actually sounds good. Norez really likes your style. Thank you. Lots of love from the chat today. Yay! Let us know if you guys have any questions. So you're working on the mobile menu now. Mm-hmm. This is going to be the mobile menu. Just need to resize them. And are you thinking you're going to do something similar here with?、Um, Having the navigation drawer kind of pull, yeah. Pull so it will be like a burger menu. Gotcha. Cool. 
So actually, before we do that, I want to make a menu here. Okay, so menu. So how do you typically decide what features or functionality to add to um, a site? You know, like what what becomes um, a, a side scrolling, you know, cards, things like that. Like, how do you make those kind of decisions as you're working through this? Um, so I will definitely take a look at the because um, I will plan out the roadmap um, based on the questionnaire I send to my clients first to just to understand what they need on the website. And also some of my clients, they already have maybe copies already. Then I'm going to take a look at the context on there and see like how I can transform that into a different like sections and uh, make it, maybe make it looks more alive, like the scrolling one that we saw. Mm -hmm. So you kind of base it off of the content that you're working yeah. with. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we have... Joanne is asking, um, and I believe we did touch on this yesterday a little bit, but, um, you know, Figma versus Adobe XD. Mm. Um. <laughs> um, honestly, I never tried Figma, so... Gotcha. <laughs> I would say it's probably comes down to personal preference uh, for me personally, and I and probably uh, you as well, Barbiana. I know that I work um, across a lot of different um, Adobe software, um, mm -hmm. so I find that working the cross uh, cross collaboration, cross how the programs all kind of work together, um, really benefits me, and mm. so just my two cents. Nora says, I just love Adobe XD. So there you go. Same. <laughs> I mean, like, I, I'm good with Adobe XD, so. <laughs> and Nora is also asking, how do you figure out spacing between elements? Um, I like to take a look at the a preview to make sure that um, it looks good on the mobile and then you can connect with your um, you can download the app on your um, iPad or phone connect with it so you can take a look directly on your device which is great yeah yeah super handy especially for something like this when we're getting into mobile designs it's really helpful to see it on your phone so you can um, see how it looks you know we have to take into consideration how it, uh, how it works with like apples notch mm -hmm. and things in the like home bar at the bottom um so yeah okay okay so we have this and i might have to another kind of important thing to write barbiana is like the tap area for things on mobile something else that you kind of have to take into consideration mm-hmm Chris is saying having the shared libraries, shared Adobe libraries is a huge plus. Yeah. Oh, yes. Sure. Um, you can import those libraries into your XD project. So if you've got a brand established, like Barbion is a, a brand designer. <laughs> so mm -hmm. this 1-800-Design brand, um, as if it's an Adobe library, you can import over there. You can see those colors and character styles and stuff into your document assets. Um, and that works across, you know, Photoshop, Illustrator, XD, pretty much everything. Uh, so, yeah. Okay. So this will be a component that will be doing the um, the toggle state later. So I'm gonna copy it to here. So you're kind of bringing that brand element into the drawer navigation mm -hmm. yes so toggle state would be moving oh wait should be the state so tricky to get everything kind of set up for that component there but once you get it <laughs> built it's all worth yeah. it <laughs> it's all worth it mm -hmm. okay treasure i love that name 
uh, Treasure saying, I am new to all of this. Uh, I hope to become a professional like y'all. <laughs> we'll keep you practicing. Will. Yeah. yeah. Practice is key. And that's how you got started, right, Barbiana? Yep. This is how I get started. I have um, no design background and basically just practice and practice. Mm -hmm. Yes. So it looks good. We'll if you guys are like interested in uh, learning more about Adobe XD, it looks like Sam shared a link to the getting started in XD um, like help site on um, Adobe site, but you can also participate in the Adobe XD daily creative challenges. They're a great way to to learn more about XD and another great community. Um, yeah. Although on Discord. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, People are super friendly on there. So I love it. Okay, I think. Oh, Steven says, uh, Barbiana, I just requested to join this amazing community I've been hearing of. Super excited. Thank you. We're gonna have some new members. Yeah, we're gonna have some members. Ooh, okay. Did you just get an idea? Was that the idea sound? Yes, <laughs> <laughs> that was the idea sound. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna have the same scrolling section, the scrolling text section. Mm -hmm. I think this will be a little big, so we'll see. Yeah, and you've got responsive resize on that, which is why as you're scaling that image, it's kind of keeping it positioned um, inside of that box, which mm -hmm. is handy. Yes. So do you think that? And thanks Sam for sharing a link to the XD uh, challenges in Discord. And don't forget to submit for the artist spotlight that we've got uh, coming up here uh, in about an hour. Um, we'll be taking a look at somebody from the community's uh, work, but you can submit yourself or somebody that you admire uh, to be spotlighted in the future. Mm -hmm. Enzo saying, I love the shared libraries for my day job. Uh, it's super easy to pull brand assets for the different companies I design stuff for. Yes. Mm -hmm. Just helps you stay so organized. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna create hover. So we're just resetting that state up again with the new size. Mm -hmm. All right. And how, how do you go about, I guess, um, deciding, you know, the new, obviously you're, you're making some adjustments here to the font sizes. Do you have any kind of like process for picking the font sizes on mobile or you just kind of feel it out as you go? Um, I feel like mobile, it's more tricky uh, depending. So I would have the desktop version first before deciding what the um, font size will look like on the mobile. Mm -hmm. And it looks like you're setting up some guides there for um, mobile to kind of match the widths that you've got on desktop, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. I want to make sure that everything fits and we mm -hmm. have the good margin on the side. So um, give some space so everything doesn't look too like um, just everything too on the side or um, messy. Sometimes it could be if you forgot the margin. <laughs> It also kind of helps you keep you in like check as you're working that you've got everything to the same margins um, mm -hmm. or approximately, you know, yeah. generally.
So for our cloud, I might have to make it vertical or let's see how we can, cause it's mm -hmm. gonna be very small, I think. Yeah, yeah and, and if I might... have to fit the text. Yeah, so that might be tricky. Mm-hmm. We just have to create. And then for shape. this asset um, in particular, then would you use a, a different uh, like image when you hit that break point or? Um, you mean like for the mobile version? If yeah. I have like the image? Yeah, so for this yeah. cloud, you would, get, you would like swap out the image at mm -hmm. that break point. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Chris is saying hello from Spain. Welcome, Chris. Yeah, let us know where you're joining from. We'd love to hear. We had a lot of people from all over the place. People from, I think we had uh, Greece yesterday, mm -hmm. um, India, some people from Canada. Let Ooh. us know where you're joining. Norris is saying, any tips for nailing your first job or internship? That's a really good question. Um... I would say that prepare um, like a portfolio, you know, to share with them and um, connect with like the, the person that's already in, like the design team, I mean. Yeah, you, you touched on this a little bit yesterday when you were yeah. talking about net, like networking with people on social, mm -hmm. um, like reaching out and, you know, talking to you developers that you might want to work with in the future, but uh, the same kind of goes for, you know, uh, companies that you want to work for, reach out and and see if there's an opportunity to work on, you know, you never know yeah. if there's like a freelance opportunity or um, even if they're not hiring mm -hmm. at that time, just yes. get to know, get to know them. Yeah. Get to know the people first. Mm-hmm. And Cope is saying, create passion projects that are great for practice and finding your style. Yeah. And it looks like Stephen Stephen Love is looking for some tutorial videos. I know that there's a bunch um, on the XD, all the Adobe, like all the Adobe software has like a tutorial section, mm -hmm. um, and they kind of range from beginner to more advanced, depending. You can kind of like watch them through. Um, so I would check those out as a good starting point, along with the challenges. Mm -hmm. And Norris, Norris is saying, yeah, uh, get to know the company. Yes. It's a good way to get started. It can be tricky to format text to fit on mobile to re kind of lay it out yeah <laughs> have to resize everything <laughs> mm -hmm. so it will fit and then you're also playing with those like area type boxes to break the text differently so it mm -hmm. kind of fits into a different space Yeah, if you, uh, you might have to like, I don't know, that's a tricky situation that you've got there with the cloud. What if you like just had, I don't know. Yeah, I think the <laughs> cloud is tricky. Even yeah. Though I love it, but it's not meant for vertical. <laughs> you could try just having the original shape for the cloud, but having it just behind the title text maybe or something. Mm hmm. Um, instead of trying to fit all of the text in there. Yeah, let's take a look actually to see how it will fit. That could be cute. Just yeah, maybe. The, just just it might be the, easier. Yeah. Just for mobile. 
What do you think, chat? Let us know if you like that. Yeah. Because so, if we are using a totally different one, I'm not really sold with this kind of shape. It's just mm -hmm. kind of weird. Yeah, almost looks like a flower. Kind of, yeah. <laughs> so, hmm. Okay. Uh, Nora says, Barb, your Motivated Academy branding identity project is amazing. Oh, thank you. I really love it. I have so much fun creating that one. Because it kind of looks like Hogwarts. Like the... <laughs> yeah, it's like Academy style. So it's <laughs> fun. It was fun. I have fun creating like the assets for the brand. We have a little tag for students. So it's fun. Okay, I just go with this one and let the chats <laughs> let us know. What Nora you guys is think saying about it. the cloud shape is better on on the one you've got. So maybe okay. that's the winner. Unless anybody else cool. has an opinion, we'll we'll keep working. We'll see. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Nora says, "Oh my God, yes." <laughs> And don't forget our cute character right yeah. here. We should name the character. Yeah, we should name the characters or all of the characters. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I Let need us to know. give them some names. Like what their names should be. Mm -hmm. I like how they're sort of abstract characters, like the shapes. And uh, so they kind of like represent, they're almost like pieces that fit together. Which mm -hmm. I think is a, is a nice way to represent the community that you're building. Yeah. Like everybody's and, mm -hmm. fits and then, together. Yeah. So we have like different shapes, uh, also representing like different designers, different types of designers. Okay. So you're going to say and call him Blue, B L U. Ooh. <laughs> that's cute. B L U, Blue. And Thalia says, I agree. I was ready to swipe my card and buy the Motivated Academy sweatshirt. So you might have to get some <laughs> merch going. <laughs> Nora is saying blue B-L-O-O. -O. Oh, so. that's also cute. Because it's kind of <laughs> like um, like blob shaped. So. Right. Hmm. Yeah. yeah. I feel like that one, the name fits the like shape style. Yeah. This is why I love to have the asset export, but we don't have to worry about the resize. Yay, if it's perfectly. Okay, mini workshops. And yeah, um, Barbiana, you created those characters in Illustrator and used the new 3D tools mm -hmm. to uh, create the style. So that sort of, yeah. we talked a little bit yesterday, claymation style and nobody had any idea what I was talking about. <laughs> Moendo has back says, hey, people, wow, what progress. Yeah, we're flying through this. <gasps> Barbiana is just <laughs> getting lots done. I love the placement of uh, the characters in throughout the design, the the um, how they're all kind of positioned, kind of looking like they're interacting with the content on the page. Yeah, it's really fun. Community space. So yeah, for this section for on the mobile, we will have to trend, um, transfer into like a vertical version of it. It's easier to read it instead of put everything together. Yeah. Yeah. So you want to stack those elements because it would mm -hmm. be really hard to read them. It's mm -hmm. Like small. Mm -hmm. Wade's here. Hey, Wade. How's it going? Blue, see, Steven is saying blue seems fitting. B L O O. I like it too. Mm, okay. We have a consensus. We like blue. But what about the other characters now? We need to call the names for the other this, ones. This Dorito. <laughs> <laughs> We've just been calling that one, yeah, the Dorito or the Nacho. <laughs> that would be me. That would be my, I identify with that one. 
to the nacho. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe because it's food. And I love food. Everybody knows that. <laughs> Yay. I love the snack, so Dorito oh, yeah. actually sounds good. <laughs> do you have a favorite do, do you have a favorite snack to to munch on while you're working? Um actually <laughs> Takis. I love Takis. Nice. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so good. That's a good one. Yeah, a little spicy, a little sour. The best combo. What about chat? What do you guys snack on while you're working? Let us know. Steven is saying nacho is cool, actually. And uh, Cope says, or Rito. Just Rito. Oh, Rito. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of like it. <laughs> yeah. Steven likes Rito as well. It's like, uh -huh. that one's a winner, too. Yes. Wade says, doing well. Hope you guys are too. Digging these characters. Yeah, they're fun. They are fun. Treasure's asking, does Adobe XD have plugins like Figma? Yes, we've been talking about a couple of them. Right here. Mm -hmm. There's a whole bunch. There's, um, There's more. Talking... Yeah. You can, um, if you go to that like plus button in the plugins yeah, right panel, here. you'll get to a whole page of different plugins and you can sort them by um, the program that you're using. You can search. There's, I don't know, there's plugins for everything. Um, mm -hmm. There's the icons for design that both Barbiana and I love. <laughs> yeah. Icons for design right here. It's just super helpful. <laughs> we talked about some plugins for checking accessibility. Um, UI faces is there for putting in lots of like UI faces and icons for design and that lore mipsum are great for like placeholder, for a placeholder to copy or images. Um, I don't know. Whiteboard we talked about is a really nice one for taking notes or like planning a project, so. Lots of plugins. <laughs> Joseph's favorite snack is plain and dry penne pasta like dry pasta that's so interesting <laughs> what <laughs> right but have you it's not have you had those they're like ramen like ramen noodles but they're like snacks oh the instant noodles yeah that, but uh -huh. they sell them as like a snack where you like crunch up the noodles and put mm -hmm. the seasoning yeah so i guess it's yeah. not too weird because those are really good yeah that one would be great yeah I think this look good. <laughs> Blue's hanging out. <laughs> Blue's just hanging out. Great. Okay, we finished a section and we'll move on to next part. So this would be Always going back about. to that breakdown there. Mm -hmm. It's really helpful. About section. Just going to copy it. Cope says uh, matcha lattes and almond butter cups. That sounds good too. Mm. Norez likes uh, dry fruits. For that creativity burst. Mm, that's very healthy. <laughs> right? Some dry fruits. Dahlia likes the Miss Vicky's chips. Those are like kettle chips. Those are good too. Lots of good snacks. You guys know what's up. Skittles, Chris says. Yum. Um, Wind was saying, did you redesign the assets for the mobile or are you using the ones you created for the desktop? Um, I used the same one and then I'll export it first. So um, when I want to scale it on mobile, it's not going to change, you know, when we scale it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah um, Barbiana set up all of the assets on individual um artboards right here. artboards at the top and then exported those out so that's how mm -hmm. those were created for use on mobile 
Mm -hmm. Unless that、um, the graphics will be or the illustration will be different on mobile, then、uh, we'll probably need to design it separately. Yeah, sort of like what we were doing with the cloud earlier.、Mm -hmm. Yeah, Stephen saying I love cherry and strawberry Twizzlers. Uh, I know people that eat ramen without cooking it straight from the bag. It they actually sell it that way. Like you can buy. There's companies that sell like a snack version. Oh,、mm -hmm. interesting. Yeah. AK is back. AKT.、Uh, I was looking for doing mockups for UI UX. Is there any video on Behance which can help or publishing live UI designs on Behance? Do you use? Any mockups when putting together present, like presenting the interface, either to clients or you know on your site. Yeah, I love using mockups、um, just to show like how it will looks、uh, in real life.、Um, you can go on some website; they have free、um, like stock mockups, or there are like individual like、um, brands. They also sell their own mockups, which is like they have like different collections. So. Um, Mr. Mockups had a lot of free one that I love, and also the other one would be Ben Peel. That would be the other one that I love to get their mockups.、Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Yeah, there's also a few.、Um, there's some mockups on Adobe Stock too that you can.、Hmm. Um, I think there might be some. I know there's some free ones. I don't know about like. Uh, devices specifically, like which specific devices? I knew I do know they have like a free section on there、um, that has some mockups. So, but yeah,、um, typically, I mean, I don't know. I wouldn't say typically, but there's、um, mockups that let you kind of put together the designs from XD in Photoshop,、um, or I think there's also some that let you do it in XD as well. Hopefully that、That's、helps、good. answer your question. What was the second one that Barbiana recommended for mockups?、Um, was Ventil. Let's see. Maybe you can. Can you spell that? Um, Maybe.、Yeah. I'm just gonna check if it's still if I oh, B E N D I T O. My bad. <laughs> B E N D I T O. Um. Yeah.、Mm -hmm. Okay. Hopefully you guys. So it should be Bendito.、Mm. Okay. I think I've found it. Mm -hmm. They have great mockups. I will post it in the chat. There we go. <laughs> Amelia posted at the same time I did. <laughs> Steve, St yeah, Stephen saying something about Ben Peel. <laughs> Sometimes <laughs> it's easier to just spell it. <laughs> Ak Ak is saying I was doing a project and I don't know how to publish with mockups. I saw challenges. No one is doing it live. Yeah, it's、um, if you check out those sites, it will.、Uh, hopefully, that will help you、um, pull some mockups together. So you are on the.、Um, We're gonna do the community highlight session. Yeah.、And、do you think you're gonna keep this one like a a scroll, or are you gonna、yes. change? Yes. So I'm gonna make it a scroll section too, but maybe reduce the amount of、um, the、um, highlight when we are scrolling. Let's see. 
This one is 32 because we have to resize it first. So I'm going to ungroup it first and resize so gonna, them. Yeah, you're going to re reset up those cards so that they mm -hmm. fit better on mobile. Mm -hmm. And just a reminder, if you're over on YouTube, come over to Behance, be.net slash Adobe Live. Um, and that's where we're answering your questions and hanging out with you all in the chat. You can say hi, um, ask, ask questions. That's the place to be. Sam shared a link to that mock-up site. So thank you very much. Thank you. So what is the build of day like for you? Run you uh, like run your, you run your own studio. Uh, what is a typical day look like managing all of the responsibilities <laughs> of you know clients and running this community? Yeah, it's a it's a lot because since you are also you also have to uh, work on social media on your own. Unless say you have a social media manager. But uh, for me, like I like to create a content, social content. So I'm doing it by myself and then creating those social graphics to like pitch to um, potential clients. So my day will typically like um, split out some time in the morning to respond to emails or if there's anything I need to prepare like proposal, I'll do it in the morning. And then later in the afternoon, I can focus on designing on a project. Yeah. Mm -hmm very uh planned out day you plan your yeah. day out <laughs> and if i have time um at night sometimes because i'm a night owls um i'll work on maybe passion project yeah nice it's always important to balance you know client work with um you know projects that you're interested in and and that help you kind of grow as a designer yeah you can't forget about that for sure. Mm -hmm. And I like to see like passion project or even creating social media um, graphics as like an outlet to um, express what I have on mind. Because sometimes when you are designing for other projects, uh, for a brand or clients, um, we have to kind of meet their request. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we can just like um, create whatever we have in mind. Right. Um, yeah. So that will be a good way. Do you find a lot of your clients on, or do a lot of your clients find you, I guess, on social? Is that how you? Mm -hmm. So my clients mostly find me on Instagram, which I'm just super active on there. <laughs> I'm basically on there all the time. Nice. I think this is a good size yeah that looks good I mean you want to make sure that you keep um, the information and also you know don't want to crop too much of the photo out <laughs> yeah so it will looks like um, this like we have a little coming out so they know that it's a scrolling one yeah you're gonna have like another little bit peeking so that they know that there's something more to kind of reveal. Mm -hmm. It's a nice. handy trick. So let's add that one. So we're going to have laying out your cards. What yeah, do you, what, what do you think is an important skill or a skill that has helped you as a designer? Um, the skills that will help me as a designer. Yeah, like what do you think are good skills to have as a UI UX designer or product designer? We had that debate yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> Web designer. Yeah. Um, I feel like knowing the design basics, the principle, it's the first thing, you know, because for me, I'm a self-taught. I don't know anything of that before. So it took me a while. Like I have to take some courses, online courses to make sure that I understand the basics. So it will help me in the process when I'm creating 
the website, knowing the margins, knowing the white space, um, the typography, how to style them. Mm -hmm. Is there anything that you wish you knew when you were first starting that you know now? Like <laughs> anything that you were like, oh, I wish I had known that. It would have helped me out so much. <laughs> hmm. That's a good question. Um, I never really thought about it before. I, I guess there's a lot. <laughs> it's fine if you don't have an answer. I'm just curious. <laughs> there's a lot for sure that um, as a designer and now like kind of like a business owner, you have to manage your own business. Um, I wish I know like connecting with other people earlier yeah yeah because i realized that i'll never be able to do things on my own and there's always people out there that um, you can connect with and then bring them onto the project um yeah and then learn from them as well asking questions so yeah that's uh some great advice for sure um build finding your community or in your case building one um mm -hmm. is a great it's also just when you're kind of on your own running your own studio i think it's you miss that connection with other designers that you know like there's nobody for you to go like hey can, you want to look at this and just tell me what you think you know <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> Yeah, at first I really don't have anyone I can just be like, mm, do you think this look good? <laughs> so having someone um, to talk to it like in the same industry, like they're also designers are great. Then you can always ask someone's advice. Lots Ooh, okay. of questions are coming in now. Uh, Steven's asking, what were some of the courses you took that you would recommend? Or videos, I guess. Mm hmm. Um, if you're interested in like web design and web coding, especially because since we're doing the web experience, I love taking the course from uh, Super High. They have great course, and um, let's see. And what's that called? Domestica. Domestica. Yeah. Yeah, it's like right. a platform. Yeah, I courses. took some courses on there too. Mm -hmm. For like um, branding mm -hmm. and yeah, brand strategy. Yeah, Domestica has a whole bunch of different, like, not just design courses, but mm -hmm. like a lot of other things as well. A lot. Sometimes I will like secretly buy those courses that are <laughs> um, not even related to what I'm doing, but I'm just interested in the behind the scenes, like how they do it. <laughs> Yeah, well, I mean, I think that's important. Uh, we talked a little bit yesterday about like creative burnout or like creative blocks and how you get through them. And I think that that isn't a good way to like, you know, prevent prevent that is to explore things that aren't just, you know, design mm -hmm. or art yeah. related, but, you know, have other things that you're interested in and, and nothing wrong with that. No shame in those courses. <laughs> <True>. <laughs> Yeah, do something um, not just, you know, digitally, like do right. something in, in real life that could yeah. inspire you. Learn how to make waffles. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> Different shapes of waffles. I really, I feel like there needs to be a waffle character. I want it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll definitely create one. <laughs> Uh, Chris is asking, do you consider yourself a generalist, specialist, or T-shaped designer? Ooh, interesting question. What do you guys think? <laughs> Let me just see if this is... Okay, this is scrolling. Great. Yeah, I don't know. I'm probably... It's hard to say. I... I'm interested in learning so many things. I'm, pro mm -hmm. I'm probably, gosh, I don't know. Yeah, I'm I, probably I love a, a to mix. learn other skills. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. There's some things that I am a specialist in and some things that I'm more of a generalist in. Mm. But 
but yeah, probably similar for you since you're in XD, you're in Photoshop, you're in Illustrator, you're doing all kinds of stuff. You're creating content on, you know, social, on Instagram. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, a lot of <laughs> a lot of skills right there. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Nora's is saying totally I'm an introvert, so it's hard to connect to people. Mm, yeah, that's a, um, the first thing I heard from other designers, other creatives. So having a community actually helps you to kind of show up, talk to people. AK is asking, did you start from UI UX design? As did you start as a UI UX designer? Oh, that's really a great question. Um, so when the first time I actually touch on design is kind of like UX UI, because I had like a project at school and um, it was like an entrepreneur course that you can basically create any products with your team. And we had this idea of um, creating a um, a card that you can put in your wallet and we have the app of it. And then at the time in our team, no one really knows anything about designing a UX UI like interface. So I'm like, okay, I'm interested in design. I can kind of learn to see how I'll create it. And I did. So that's how I found myself like, oh, I love design. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's really like, awesome. It's fun. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, because you I think you said yesterday you had a uh, background in computer science and marketing. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yay. We have this cute hover effect. I really love this hover effect. Like it just <laughs> kind of like, ha. Huh. And then the <laughs> facial expression of this character. It's like, yeah. Ah. Very, very excited. They're very mm -hmm. excited. They're pumped. Steven says, I love Domestica, but I've never heard of Super High. Um, Ooh, check it out. AK is asking how you got your first client. Mm. Um, so my first clients came from Instagram. So I was posting a lot of um, like tips and tricks kind of post. So that helps me establish my expertise. People will see me as the, you know, expert in a certain field. So let's say that if you are a web designer, you can talk about like um, how to create a more responsive website, but you know, not in the very tech term, because your audience probably are, you know, those clients and they just want to know that, oh, okay, you know, your, your thing. And also maybe share like, um, which website builder will be great for e-commerce or, you know, for service-based businesses. Mm -hmm. So that really helped you to kind of um, put yourself out there so people know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you work with, um, there's a, pa a page builder um, type of thing that you mentioned yesterday that you work with when building sites. Mm -hmm. Uh, for no code, I do ready mag uh, and show it or Webflow. I know that Webflow, everyone loves it. And for e-commerce, I would recommend Shopify. Mm -hmm. Nora says, awesome. AK says, so helpful. Um, got a Thank bunch you. of people saying, Nora says, I want to specialize and be the best at one thing. So you would be a specialist. Mm -hmm. And Sam saying, I like learning support and skills, but I definitely focus in one area. Yeah. I guess I'm kind of like that. I don't know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm all over <laughs> the place. I love learning new things. Nacho. Yeah, that's the spirit. Rito. You want to learn new things all the time. Rito. What's the green character? We have to name the green character. Yeah, the green one. Let's name it. Yeah. Nora says design community is the most wholesome. That's very nice. Cope says, do you think a brand designer should know how to draw? Um, so awesome you bring it up on Instagram and wanted to know what you think. What do you think? Um, 
I don't think so, because <laughs> I'm bad at drawing. <laughs> But knowing, of course, it would be great, but it's not necessary. It's you can always partner with like a illustrator. You know, um, there's always an illustration like artist out there. If、um, your clients need like a certain graphics, you can always like、um, hire someone else, collaborate with other artists.、Mm-hmm. It's not necessary. Yeah, certainly, like lean into your skills, and if you need support.、Um, You know that's why it's important to connect with people so that you can、mm-hmm. find people to call on when you are working on a project and you know that you know I know this person's style would fit perfectly here. So,、mm-hmm. yeah. Oh,、uh, Stephen saying I have a background in artificial intelligence, machine learning, deep learning, a field of computer science, and AK is also a computer science. Oh, so. <laughs> Lots of smart people in the chat. <laughs> Lots of smart people. <laughs> you guys could could help、uh, Barbiana build the site. <laughs> Yay! Oh no, Stephen says. Oh my goodness, my social media is absolute trash for both both personal and business. I don't attract <laughs> followers, much less clients. I need a miracle with my socials. Do you have any advice for Stephen? Barbiana. Start building it. Start building <laughs> it. Yeah, you don't have to make it,、um, you know,、um, like super static, but give like a certain pattern, a system on it. So it's kind of like a mini branding. You don't even need to have like a lot of colors. If you take a look at some、um, creators on Instagram,、um, they could just have like one or two colors, and repeat that to create like graphics. So.、Um, It's like pleasing when they hop on your your profile, yeah, and start giving some information, and、um, don't be scared to pitch to people.、Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's great advice. Is try and figure, try and establish like who you are, who your brand is, and and、yeah. use that to plan your posts essentially.、Mm-hmm. Ak is asking where you created the three D characters. Illustrator, gonna show、yes. it in, yeah, right here. So it was two D before,、mm-hmm. and then you're gonna use this three D and materials, and I used the inflate one to create this look. So you just have to kind of adjust, like,、um, let's see, the material. I'm using default one,、uh, roughness、mm-hmm. and. Metallic. I don't want it to be too shiny, but I have a little shine on it.、Mm-hmm. And then you can also adjust like the、um, the volume of it, like how puffy you want it to look. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The three the new three D materials are a lot of fun to、yeah. play around with. You can do some really cool stuff. I think it works really well for these the style of these characters for sure.、Mm-hmm. We've got just about fifteen minutes or so until the artist spotlight. So, okay. Be sure to get your submissions in if you have somebody in mind to、um, highlight on the artist spotlight. Up、uh, above the chat tab,、um, you can submit somebody or yourself to the artist spotlight. <laughs> <laughs> Why Stephen, why not? Stephen saying.、Uh, Jack and Barbiana for the tag team social media help win. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a little handy little trick there. You doing like a a vertical for this one? I'm I'm looking like how we can make it doesn't look too like small because、mm-hmm. I realized that if I want to duplicate the same style, it's gonna be very small when we look at on a mobile side.、Mm-hmm. So. Yeah, for sure. Bafana is saying so for your typography. What did you use for the for the fonts? Maybe you can pop up and show that again. Um, the font. Yeah, the type the fonts that we're using in this project. Yes. So for our title font, it's gonna be New Spirit. You can find it on Adobe. Yeah, I love、mm-hmm. that font. <laughs> yeah, and the um. 
body tax would be New Montreal. Oh yeah, new new N E U E U-E. Montreal. Mm-hmm. So got new spirit. I'm just trying to grab the text here. Oh, a four grid. That might be nice too. Looks like uh, maybe you got new Montreal off of Type Wolf, which I know is one of your favorite sites. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, the Foundry is Pen Pengram Pengram Foundry. Yeah, they have really good uh, funds. Yeah, you can check it out. Jenny is asking: Should you use your personal account or create a separate one for sharing work tips, etc.? Oh, I love this question. A lot of you <laughs> ask me this. <laughs> so it really depends on you. If you have separate, you know, audience that you want to keep your private life, then you can create a different account, a business account, just for your business. But if you feel like, you know, like I'm, I'm just good with everything, like together. I love to share my personal, you know, life as well. Then you can just put on the same account. Yeah, for me, I have separate personal account. Yeah, because I have my family, and I don't want to spend my family with <laughs> my work. <laughs> yeah, great answer. I think it really does depend on you know uh, what you consider personal. Like you wouldn't. I mean, if you're if you're comfortable sharing your personal life with your mm-hmm. business, and if it makes sense for your brand, but um, if not, you know, a separate is probably the way to go. Oh, Jesse has a really nice comment. Jesse Lin says, hi, Barbiana. So good to see someone from Taiwan doing amazing things in the U.S. right now. I'm Taiwanese hi. pursuing my master's in the U.S. and you really inspire me to get into web design. Keep up the Ooh. good work. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I love the comment so much. <laughs> it made my day. And Steven saying, what was the last type font website she mentioned? Uh, We mentioned Type Wolf and then Pengram was the foundry, I believe. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, It's just the font foundry for... For the font. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or Pengram. Pengram, (laughs) Pengram. You know what? I'm going to make it big. Yeah, are you thinking you're going to stack that or vertically Mm -hmm. to help it fit? uh, Yes. That's exciting. What are you pursuing your master's in, Jesse? Let us know. Mm. working on the footer i do like that four square layout that you uh chose for that okay yeah it's like getting into me like i love it (laughs) so let's take a look actually see how how's our landing page look on our mobile so we have the menu it's great and the scrolling text have the first section, intro section. We could actually animate this too. <laughs> yeah. I think yeah, we when talked we build about on the website. A yeah. little bit yesterday, how you might have that character kind of move a little bit. Mm-hmm. I could see that. And uh, we have the feature section, like the values of the community, um, the why behind a brand, and then the call to action buttons so they can join us. Community highlight, you can scroll. And Enzo. then we have. <laughs> it was in the chat. Yes. Design people, give a waffle. Check us, the Instagram grid. Ooh, okay. Uh-oh. I know the problem. So I need to. Yeah. Oh, there we go. 
Yes. <laughs> but I think yeah, I might have to resize it. You'd making the fonts sizes match with the navigation at the top or mm -hmm. it was gotcha. like the same as the navigation but Oof. what's going Oof. on <laughs> yeah that happens when you've got there you go if you guys <laughs> didn't know that's a super handy little feature down there if you didn't know about it for in adobe xd you mm -hmm. can change the um capitalization style mm -hmm. i guess for the characters uh from that menu down there to be uh sentence case right or is it like title case so it uh, capitalizes this is a title case yeah title yeah. case it capitalizes the first letter of each word as you type so you don't have to like type it your you know type it in yourself so it's really mm -hmm. handy jesse's saying i'm working on my master's in information technology management with a concentration in product management but i've just gotten oh. got into learning about ui ux with the google coursera course oh okay Nice. Nice. Sounds like that'll Project be a good management. compliment to your degree there. Mm hmm Can design like, I could see that helping to design like backend or like internal kind of um, software products with uh, IT and project management mm -hmm. um, masters for sure. Jesse's saying the design looks really great, by the way. Thank you. Yeah, and everything Annika is coming says, together. Uh, this is coming along really well, so. Yeah. So we have our first homepage, the landing page on Ooh. mobile. Oof. <laughs> <laughs> this is why I feel like mobilizing will be a little, that like, takes more time because we have to resize everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Know? Yep. Have to just reconsider how things lay out on mobile. Mm -hmm. And most importantly is to make the user experience look like better on mobile. So not just duplicating everything the same from our desktop. We will have to change a little bit. No. Now this so is going to be the community. Community. So we'll have to switch up the photo. Yep. And also I realized that the photo might have to, um, I'll have to resize it in Photoshop. Yeah. Not today, but um, oh, maybe yeah, we'll have to. <laughs> yes. Because mm -hmm. the original one looks like this, it's more um fit for our desktop version for mobile who will have to resize it yeah you'll have to scale you have to make it so you've got like a little bit more you know sky above essentially mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah i wish it's like smaller mm -hmm. that would help too but yeah that's okay bafana saying i just started product design and as i was learning a bit about the ux i ux just would love to know how you manage to get the Adobe apps. Do you pay a subscription or are they free? It's a subscription, Bafana, mm -hmm. but there are um, there are a free trial that you there is a free trial that you can get to um, test them out and see, you know, test before you buy, essentially. Mm -hmm. So yes, they are paid. Making that scroll. Mm -hmm. And then once once you finished out this design here, do you think that you will um, build the site yourself? Um, I think I would challenge myself to build this one. Yeah. On Webflow this time. Nice. Turning yes. it into a little uh, challenge for yourself. Yeah, it will be a challenge for myself. Okay, we got this. 
and uh, Bafan is asking how much the subscription is. You'll have to go and check it out um, on the Adobe site. I know there's different packages, um, different options. So I can't be, um, you know, I'm not 100% sure. Depends on kind of what you need or what you're looking for, mm -hmm. but they vary. Okay, so we're gonna build this filter. Mm, right, mm -hmm. the, for sorting the people. Or the, yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. So for the mobile one on the um for filters, I'm thinking about having a button, and then you click on it, it will drop down like a drop down menu. So it doesn't look too messy on the website if we are having all these. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's categories. Uh, another kind of decision that you have to make on mobile mm -hmm. and stuff like that. Um, you don't want that to take up all of the real estate on the screen. Um, <laughs> yes. So there are too many, too many buttons or too many tabs. So mm -hmm. a good solution is a drop down. Yeah. Jesse's asking what coding skills would you need to build this site? Um. If you're using Webflow, I think um, CSS for sure, because we will have some animation. So CSS and JavaScript. Yeah. Any other that you will think of right now? Um, I think it depends on how advanced you want to get, how custom yeah. you want to get. Mm -hmm. um, certainly some of the animation stuff can get pretty custom. Um, and also depending, I guess, uh, some of that layout stuff with the cloud in particular and that shape behind it. But um, honestly, it's depend it depends on, you know, your, and we talked about this a little bit, like how much time is it, is the feature um, worth the, the dev time? Like, is it important enough that you really need to have it or can you, you know, simplify it um, mm -hmm. and kind of making those decisions as you go? Like, does this really need to be this way or can I, can I change it, um, you know, to be a little bit not as flashy and as uh, much of the wow factor, but still serves the purpose. Mm -hmm. And yes, even saying HTML, CSS, JavaScript. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and not, you don't have to be experts either. I think that yeah. um, just, you know, uh, for some workflow, of the, yeah. Some of the no code like um, builders, uh, they have some feature that you can you can already do some um, basic, like the animation without mm -hmm. coding. So yeah, yeah, we talked a little bit about Lottie. Lottie is an example that you can you can create full like animations in After Effects and export Lottie yeah. um, JavaScript files that way. But you can also um, use the like online editor to create Lottie files that aren't, it's more visual. It's not as, uh, I guess, overwhelming. So the same kind of thing exists for building a site. Some of these editors are more like drag and drop kind of visual editors. Um, and then the one uh, that Barbiana referenced, uh, Webflow, um, it w does require a little bit more knowledge about um, CSS and JavaScript, so. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, Yunga says, I use three JS. Nice. I don't okay. um, build sites, but I have some experience with GreenSock, which is a animation library, JavaScript animation library for Yay making CSS animations. Lots of people are loving uh, Webflow. Mm -hmm. If you think that Webflow is a little intimidating, can try show it. It's definitely um, the drag and drop one. And I love that they also gives um, like people that know coding to add like um, codes for a more advanced like animation. So yeah, you can check that out as well. Show so, it some another options one. for you. Yeah. I can see like this is like a trend now, like um, there will be more and more no code like website builder for everyone. 
yeah. It looks like it is time to switch over quickly to our artist spotlight. Uh, right. Barbiana, if you want to pull that up, and we can take a look at the artists we've got featured today. Yay! Yay. <laughs> um, so we've got uh, Koala, I believe. Um, Koala, if you're in the chat, let us know and, and let us know if we're pronouncing your name correctly. Uh, wow. yeah. Let's just go through this uh, their work here. Is there any particular project you want to start out on here and take a look oh. at? I want to take a look at the first one. Yeah. <laughs> Beauty shop. <laughs> okay, UI design concept. Oh, I love that um, it's so colorful and yeah. using the gradients. Yeah, very on brand, the whole presentation, which is really nice to see. Mm -hmm. Love the Color. like little brief here. Yeah. yeah. It's always very good to have like a brief to know what is the project about on your portfolio. Presenting the colors, presenting the fonts. So similar to what kind of you did at the, um, at the beginning of your project with <laughs> the, the brand. Mm, Got some screens here. Let us know what you think, chat. Be sure to go and follow um, Koala, Koala on uh, Behance. It looks like Sam shared a link to their Behance <clears throat> in the chat, so be sure to check it out. And oh, there's a prototype. I love when yeah. when people put prototypes. You yes. can embed prototypes <laughs> in XD or in uh, Behance, and they're super cool. <laughs> mm -hmm. Ooh, oh, some auto animate happening. Fancy. Is this a scrolling one? Oh, it's not. Oh, sometimes if you tap like on this, you can get like a an, a little hint to where you're supposed to tap. If they've got them turned on. Okay. I do really like the repeating like circles. Mm -hmm. There's lots of like, they remind me of two of like the makeup um, case. I don't know why I'm blanking on the word. Um, that are in like circles feels very mm -hmm. oh they have like the um okay add to cart nice steven is a gradient maniac i love them well this is <laughs> just for you steven um wendwa loves it wow. be sure to go and, and follow the work how do you feel about the buttons kind of coming off the side of the screen I like it. I like that it's um ooh. Okay. Well I have just to kinda restarted. Okay, let's quickly go over it and can think the button on the side. Yeah, how do you feel yeah, about that? I think it's cool. Like um it's a lot of them just put it like in the middle, but actually on the side is pretty nice because we I like to use my right hand when I was browsing stuff, so it's very intuitive. Yeah. Yeah. I can that's just a like very click on point. it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Cool. Cool. I love that this, like the um, stacking look of the cards. Yeah. It helps it feel a little bit like, uh, gives it a little dimension. Mm -hmm. Thanks for using, choosing us. Love very it. Cool. All right, maybe click on a different project here. Let's take a look at this one. Oh, wow. the photo on this is like intense. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Very eye catching. Oh, I love the how um, she laid out mm -hmm. the project description, the challenge. Yeah, feels oh, so this like is like a bubbles. website. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it looks like a, a web experience here. Mm -hmm. Love the color she's using on this project. Yeah, I like too the little like brand element there with that dive, the little mm -hmm. icon that, you know, that's a yeah. nice touch to the project. Oh, 
Oh, this looks interesting. So it's it will be like a video. Yeah, it looks nice. like there might be a prototype that we can view at the yes. bottom. Yes, <laughs> let's take a look at the prototype. Okay. <gasps> can we play it? Oh. <laughs> yeah, go for it. Ooh, I don't think there is a button for play. Oh, never mind. It might just be a placeholder then. But I love it. I love how she designed this look. Love it. And then can click on the side to change it. Love it. And then you may also like, ooh, okay. Like a view oh, more. A little touch on this buttons right here. Scroll down to what we do. Mm -hmm. Statistics. Oh, and another buttons that can take us back up to the top. That's nice. Yeah, very well thought out yeah. you know, page here with mm -hmm. all the um, the imagery and the copy feels very like fits the experience. Mm -hmm. And love the colors having the uh, good contrast on this website. Yeah, nice. Our last one, plan app UI concept. Ooh, interesting eco-themed app. I love the little cat illustration. Yeah, this is so <laughs> cute. I you wonder if she up. created the illustrations for this. Mm -hmm. Well thought about the um, the colors and fonts. I love that the colors also fit the theme. It's great. Oh, that's nice Ooh. to see the overview in XD like that. Mm -hmm. The process. The mm -hmm. Yeah. Ooh. Prototyping. Yes. Let's take a look at the prototype. Oh, okay. I love the loading effect that she put on there. It's nice. Steven is saying the arrow that takes you back up resembles a diver going back up for air. That's a good point. I like, yeah, I didn't even think about that, but you're mm, right. You're right. Okay. The login page. Login. Oh, you can choose like which type of plants um, you're more interested in, I guess, right here. Choose a type of plant. Find your favorite. It looks like, yeah, pick your favorite plants. I love it. The little icons are cute too. They look like little emojis, maybe? Yeah, I think this is from the emojis. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And can click on continue. <gasps> and it will show me the plants. Oh, I need this. <laughs> are you a big oh, gardener? I, I think we can. Uh, I'm, I'm not. But because I, I'm a plant killer. <laughs> <laughs> so you admire from afar. Yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, you can take a photo of the plants. Oh, nice. So that you can identify maybe if you see a plant that you like and you want to know what it is. That's a cool mm -hmm. idea. Yeah. And then we'll see the plants. Ooh, okay. It's an indoor plants. Yeah. yeah, the icons to indicate like how much water it needs maybe and mm -hmm. stuff. Those water nice. sunlight i think this is temperature mm -hmm. oh. nice and then can add to the card okay. <laughs> steven is loving the morphism effect the blur the blur <laughs> effect at the bottom for the um navigation bar mm -hmm. you can uh maybe do you know how to you can do that in XD mm -hmm. if you wanted to show, maybe show Steven that when we get back over to your screen. Okay. That blur effect, yeah, it's actually really effect. easy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Nice. Nice. Okay. We love it. Nice design. Yeah. 
It was uh, nice to see Koala's pro uh, portfolio of work. Uh, mm -hmm. Be sure to go and follow them on Behance and give yes. them some likes on their projects for sure. Yay. And yeah, um, if you want to be featured in the future artist spotlight, be sure to share in the top there, either yourself or somebody that you, um, whose work you really like. So, all right, let's uh, maybe switch back to your screen, uh, Barbiana, for finishing up, you know, what we can on mm -hmm. this, uh, on the community page. And um, we're almost finished with the community page. Almost, almost. <laughs> Yeah, and maybe if you want to demo that blur, if not... Oh, yes. Um, um, the blur. So I'm, mm -hmm. like, looking at some section that... Okay, let's see if... It's yeah, you section. can maybe just, like, put a box over that photo and, and you can mm -hmm. kind of demo it, how it looks. So you're going to create a rectangle and then you can click on um, the background blur. Yeah, right it's here. under effects. Yes. Yeah. And then you can um, adjust how blurry you want it to be and how bright mm -hmm. you want it to be. Yeah. So this will be more close to what it already looks like. You can also adjust um, the transparency right as well. Okay. So you can make it a little bit more or less opaque. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it's super easy to do that effect in XD mm -hmm. um, with that looks like blur this blur you can also use some prototyping with it so if you wanted it to like change or like blur out mm. or in you can prototype to from like less to more blurry or vice versa um, to get that kind of effect so hopefully that helps yes let us know if you have any questions cool. and Steven saying yes great recommendation would love to see it yeah <laughs> hopefully that helps Norez is loving it. Oh, Steven's saying, oh my word, thank you. <laughs> so this is the, you're building out the um, community page here, mobile experience um, on your 1-800-DESIGN website here. And this is the, uh, the drop down with the different categories. Yes. Kind of mm -hmm. figuring so out what gonna, that looks like. Yeah, like a drop down menu. Animation. Okay, so. Let's see. We are also down to kind of our last little less than half an hour um, here with Barbie on her today. So make sure that you get any questions you have in for us or any recommendations for this uh, web experience for this community. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking about this be 13th. So you're working on you're thinking about how you want to style that drop down? Yeah. Gonna go with like a round along the bottom and on the top with sort of straight mm -hmm. corners in the center to separate out the different options. Yeah, I think this will be good. Okay. And uh, Sam just shared a link to Barbiana's work and mine, but more importantly, mm. Barbiana on DVNs. <laughs> Barbiana, oh, where God. where can everybody else, where can everybody find you elsewhere? Um, Behance or my Instagram and TikTok. <laughs> yes. Yeah, you mentioned TikTok uh, yesterday that you like making content for TikTok. Mm-hmm. I like to share uh, behind the scenes or uh, about being a freelancer. <laughs> Have you ever thought about live streaming on Behance? Yeah, actually, I'm just kind of um, worried that I'm um, not used to the platform, like um, streaming <laughs> on Behance. But after this, 
I might just get on it. Yeah, you should totally. Yeah. We need more UI UX designers. Yeah. <laughs> I would love to just share like my process designing like a website. Yeah, it will be fun. Yeah, if you guys didn't know, there are um, Behance is live streaming, so you can follow a whole bunch of creators on Behance. Um, Sam streams on Behance. Sam Peterson. Annika was in the chat earlier. I stream um, on the weekends. So when Adobe Live is not live, you can check out all the other awesome streamers. Wade was here earlier. And hopefully in the future, Barbiana, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll definitely share like um, more behind the scene with you guys streaming on here. Okay, that would be let me awesome. take a look at the uh, prototype. So when I toggle it, it's gonna drop down. Give it a point for a second. Okay, so. Oop. Oh, there it is. <laughs> yeah, it might be because you selected the, maybe the text. And so it's harder to hit that tap area. Yeah. Oh, Annika says, thanks for the shot. I'm lurking in the shadows. Lurk and work. Totally fine. What are you trying to do? I'm trying to bring this down a little bit more. So it does. Oh, so it moves in a little bit faster. Yeah. Gotcha. Just making an adjustment there for the timing. And mm -hmm. Steven says, how does one become a Behance live streamer? So you can stream currently from the um, iPad apps, directly from the iPad, um, Fresco, oh. Illustrator, and Photoshop from the iPad. Um, but you can also apply to stream from the desktop as well. Um, I don't have the link handy for that, but there is a, if you want to find out more, there's a live streaming um, Discord, and that would be probably the best place to get your questions answered. Oop. Oh no. Oh, no. <laughs> you got to go in and edit the second state because, yeah. Yeah, that's the trouble with those default states is that when you edit them on one, on the default state, it applies that change to like the subsequent um, states. So, you gotta go in and make some adjustments. Okay, I think we're good mm -hmm. with this. We have the category. And we can move on with community members. So, I'm gonna put it right here. So yeah, this is, you're taking the same cards that we used on the other kind of mobile screen and you're putting them on here. Mm -hmm. So they're the same uh, size and, yeah. you know, style. I'm going to group them first. I will always um, come here to make sure that all the elements have the same space in between. Yeah, you're using the, um, so there's kind of like two different options um, at the top there for align. There's like mm -hmm. aligning and then there's uh, distribute spacing yeah, or distribute, distribute objects, I think, mm -hmm. or something. Yes. Oh, no. Distribute yeah. might just be distribute. D space. Distribute. Yeah. And then this will be like distribute horizontally. Yeah. And the one I'm using is distribute uh, vertically. And yeah, like Barbiana said, that'll give you equal spacing. Mm -hmm. um, you could also use um, stacks as well if you wanted to set like a specific uh number like 
if you wanted, um, if you had the same spacing on all of, if you had multiple pages with that those cards or a similar style card and you wanted to have the same spacing, you could create a group and then um, use stacks and you can type like a number in um, for the spacing there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you go to our plugins. <laughs> I'm going to bring up arrow. Yeah. Arrow right. And we are like coming up on like the last. We've got about five minutes to work left, Barbiana. So. Mm hmm. This will probably yep. be the next, the last kind of couple of features here. But more importantly, everybody in the chat, this is your warning to get your last minute questions or comments in yeah. before the end of the stream, before the ban hammer, <laughs> <laughs> before we get booted to the next one. Waffles. So you added a little next button down there because you know that you're not gonna display all of those cards on mobile for space. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. If we have like a lot of community members, which mm -hmm. I want, <laughs> I'm yeah. hoping for, yeah, it will be difficult to really display everyone. So we'll have to make a um, next page. Yeah, so you're kind of deciding a limit there for how many. You're like, mm, four is enough cards. And beyond that, we'll just go to another page or mm -hmm. we'll load more or something. Yeah. All right. I think we got it. Man, you just, just like time. powered through. <laughs> <laughs> just in time. Just in time. Great. <laughs> I think oh, Steven is that. loving the background music. Where can I get that background music playlist? I'm enjoying it a lot. <laughs> I don't I don't know. I think it's just kind of like a a lo-fi, lo-fi jams. I don't know what the specific playlist is, but I'm glad you're digging it. Yes. Let's take a look. Just want to make sure everything Okay, so we got the categories. Oh, I have to bring the category um, actually in front. Yeah, you're just kind of like working. Uh, mm -hmm. I think because I they don't have. Oh, it's fills. just a border. Yeah. yeah, I have to fill it up. Yeah. And then we have um, community members here, and then can go to the next page, give a waffle section, and then um, sign and create it, call to action buttons. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, we powered off in the last few minutes. Awesome. Maybe you can kind of give an overview of everything that we did over the past. Um, two days here show the start to finish kind of process overview mm -hmm. and like show the desktop screens again. Yeah. So um, we have our branding guide here and then we go through the website roadmap, kind of plan it out that will, how you want to uh, put inside the website and then the page breakdowns for our landing page. So for the first day, we create a desktop version of our landing page and a little bit um, community page. This is what it looks like for our landing page. So we have this menu that you can um, close it while you're scrolling and then scrolling text, animation, in the first intro section. And blue. There's blue yeah, with that cloud. Yeah, there's blue. <laughs> And then we have our featured values of the community. And also we create these um, in XD as well, like these little graphics. And we have another section. 
and community highlight and this will be like a scrolling section screen and we have this cute hover effect and social link section all right so uh thank you so much for hanging out uh barbiana and chat um thank you for sharing our process with us barbiana it was nice to see your thank work thank you um uh, make sure to go and follow Barbiana on Behance and on uh, Instagram. Stay tuned for the Illustrator Daily Creative Challenge, Creative Encore, up next with Julia Vaca. Um, then at 12 p.m. Pacific, join us for part two of photo editing with Andre for another chance to win a one-year subscription to Creative Cloud. Woo! Woo! Have a great day, everyone. Bye. Bye.